draw a line so the bunny can get her carrot. Don't cross the lines and find the way to the carrot. When I say go, we're going to start. Go. Great job. Now we're going to move on to the next one. This mother dog has lost her puppy. When I say go, start here. Now draw a line to show the mother dog how she can get to her puppy. Don't cross the lines and try and go as fast as you can. Go. Great job. In the mother dog puppy visual motor test, the child in this video would score a three out of three possible points for a mature grass of pen. Holds pen with fingers but not mature grass would be a two. Holds pen with whole hand would be a one. Unable to hold pen for entire task, holds and lets go would be a zero. For motor accuracy, number of lines cross would be counted for. Zero lines cross would be a three. One line cross a two. Two or more lines crossed, one, could not draw a path, zero. The child in this video would score three out of three. For motor planning, three points would be for draws a line that approximates the maze from start to end. Attempts to draw a line from start to end would be a one. Does not attempt to draw a line from start to end of maze. May scribble on maze would be a zero. fork with your pen. Use your pen to make a slash mark over the fork. Here is a spoon and here is a knife. Do not mark any spoons or knives. This picture has forks, spoons, and knives hidden in the picture. Mark just the forks. I'll count the forks that you marked when you're done. When I say go, ready? Go. Don't mark the knives or the spoons. Find some more. In the hidden forks game of the visual motor section, a child will receive a score of three for visual discrimination if he or she marked zero spoons or knives. The child will receive a score of zero if he or she marked one or more spoons or knives. A child would receive a score of three if he or she marked 11 to 12 forks under figure ground. The child would receive a score of two if eight to 10 forks were marked, a score of one if six to seven forks were marked, and a score of zero if less than five forks were marked, or if he or she was unable to mark any on the page. For scanning sustained attention, the child would receive a score of three if he or she was able to search for forks in all four quadrants. A score of two if the child searched to two or three quadrants. A score of one if the child only searched in one quadrant. And a score of zero if the child did not search the page at all. Trace this line like this. Try to stay right on this black line.
Here are some more scales on the fish. Trace the scales. Start here. Now trace all the rest of the scales of the fish. Try to stay right on the black line. Cut around the fish. Try to stay on this black line. Now we are going to catch the fish with this fishing line. Tape this string to the fish's mouth. Here's the last thing we will do. Reel in the fish by wrapping the string around the fishing pole. Now it's your turn. Finish reeling up the rest of the fish. For the motor accuracy segment of the Go Fishing game, a child can receive a maximum score of two points for sections one through four. In item one, a maximum of two points can be scored for tracing two segments. In item two, two points can be earned by tracing four segments. In item three, two points can be earned by tracing three segments. And in item four, two points can be earned by tracing three to five segments. Bilateral coordination and automatic assist can also earn a maximum of two points for segments one through four. A child can score a maximum of two points by using both hands, one to write and one to hold paper for each of the segments. One point would be earned if they are slow to use both hands, holds paper ineffectively with non-dominant hand, and zero points for not attempting the task. A child can earn a maximum of two points for bilateral coordination and automatic assist by using both hands, one to cut and one to hold paper. One point can be earned when they are slow to use both hands, hold paper ineffectively with non-dominant hand, and zero points are earned if they are unable to use scissors to cut. For taping string to mouth of fish, a child can earn a maximum of two points for holds tape defense dispenser with one hand and tears off tape with the other. One point can be earned for attempts to hold tape dispenser or tear off tape but ineffective with one hand. And zero points are earned if the child does not try to hold tape dispenser while tearing off tape. For reeling in fish, two points can be earned for uses both hands to reel in fish, one hand to hold pencil, the other hand to wind string. One point can be earned for difficulty holding pencil and winding string. Zero points would be earned if they are unable to wind string to reel in fish.
Put the pennies in the bank one at a time. Pick up all the pennies. Just use this hand. Go fast. Ready? Start here. Go. Only use one hand. Good job, Jackie. Okay. Let's do that again. Now, only use this hand. Start here. Put all the pennies in the bank. Ready? Go. Only use one hand. pennies in this hand. Put them in the slot one at a time like this. Don't use your other hand to help. Ready? Go. Remember to put one penny in at a time. Ready? Go. Now, stand on this foot, 
close your eyes. Stand very still, I'll be right here. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. In the gross motor section, the statue game, a child is assessed on their body stability and balance and equilibrium. There are four items. Item one, balances on right foot, eyes open. Item two, balances on left foot, eyes open. Item three, balances on right foot, eyes closed. And item four, balances on left foot, eyes closed. A child will receive a score of three to zero for each item assessed the same. A child will receive a score of three if he balances on the said foot without moving body or arms for at least two seconds, the other foot stationary on the ground. A score of two if the said foot remains in place for at least two seconds, but arms flail or body is moving. One point if the child can assume the position for one second but the foot moves to maintain balance or the stationary foot or the lifted foot immediately touches the floor and zero points if unable to assume position. For balance and equilibrium, a child will receive a score of three if he can hold the position for eight to 10 seconds, a score of two for six to seven seconds, a score of one for four to five seconds, and a score of zero for three seconds and less. And this is the same for all four items. Now we're going to jump. Stand here, jump up and down. Good. You're such a good jumper. Now try this one. Watch me. In. Can you repeat it with me? In, in, out, out. In, in, out. out. In, in, out. Now you do it. I'll tell you when to stop. Good. Now we're going to jump from side to side. Start here. Okay. We're going to start here. Now I'll go back. do this. Now you jump. Start here, jump forward and backwards, and I'll tell you when to stop. Go. Good. Stop. This is a good one. This time you will jump in a triangle. I love triangles. Me too. <laughs> okay. I'm going to demonstrate it for you. Good job. <laughs> 
performance scores in the area of visual motor, fine motor, and gross motor, the raw score can be calcul calculated by the total amount of points that a child earned in that section. The home observation checklist can be filled out by the caregiver of the child. During homework, weekends, and after school, tasks that involve moving around are rated. Posture is rated, getting along with others is rated, organizing, handling objects, writing, daily routines, computer keyboarding, behavior and self-control, emotions, and daily activities or routines that include eating, drinking, dressing, grooming, and toileting. The rating scale is checked off by the caregiver as follows. Almost always successful, frequently successful, successful some of the time, seldom and never successful, not seen, don't know. The checks are then calculated in each column for pages 1 and 2. The, page, the number of checks for each page is added together. For the first column, the score is multiplied by 3. For the second column, the score is multiplied by 2. And for the third column, the score is multiplied by 1. The sum of the scores is then added together for a total of points that could be earned being a total of 195. The classroom observations checklist may be filled out by a child's teacher. Classroom activities measured are mobility, posture slash stability, regulation slash sensory modulation, self-esteem, social skills and structured settings, communication, organization, sensory discrimination, play skills, self-control, social skills and leisure activities, speed, computer keyboarding, eating and drinking, and dressing, grooming, toileting. These are rated on a scale from almost always successful, frequently successful, occasionally successful, seldom successful, and not observed. This checklist is scored the same exact way as the home observations checklist, except the total sum that a child can earn is 138. The test observations checklist is scored by the evaluator of the test. The child is rated on his or her mobility, posture and stability, regulation slash sensory modulation, self-esteem, social skills, communication, organization, speed, and participation over time. They are rated by five sections, almost always successful, frequently successful, occasionally successful, seldom successful, and not observed. This is scored just like the home observations checklist and classroom observations checklist, except the total points a child can earn would be 75. In order to fill out the participation scores for the home, classroom, and test observations, the evaluator must go to Appendix F in the Miller Fund Manual. Once they get to Appendix F, the evaluator must find the child's age and the raw score they received for the desired observation. A child can either be average, below average, or far below average. To calculate the scale scored, the scorer must go to Appendix B in the Miller Fund Manual. 
Find the child's age, and then for each subsection of visual motor, fine motor, and gross motor, find the raw score that the child earned. To the left of the raw scores is the scale scored number. To calculate the child's progress scores, you need to know their raw score first. For example, say a child is 7 years old and scores an 81 for visual motor. You would go to Appendix E, look up the child's age, and find their raw score of 81. Then slide over till you find their appropriate age. For this, the child's progress score would be 546.